How's it going everyone? I'm Kyler Alice and this is my complete guide to playing Bodva in Brawlhalla. Whether you're silver, gold, tin or even diamond, I guarantee you can learn a thing or two about playing Bodva at a professional level. Bodva is an all-round solid character with many strengths and few weaknesses. Using sword and hammer, he excels at keeping enemies in the air, covering limited options and getting consistent early kills. A strong weapon combination assisted by strong signatures makes Bodva a great pick for competitive Brawlhalla. A key strength of Bodva is his great stats. Bodva's stats are very balanced, having 6 strength and dexterity and 5 defense and speed. This allows him to build damage and kill quickly, move effectively and avoid early deaths more so than other legends. I recommend using the speed or dexterity stances on Bodva depending on the matchup. Taking the dexterity stance opens several new combos such as nair into recovery on both weapons as well as being much faster on miss. In the neutral game and at low damages, I try to control the stage with hammer, forcing the opponent to the corner or the air and engaging with side light and nair. Neutral light at white is a great mix up when punishing someone's spacing or reading them crossing through you, comboing into dash side light for 36 damage. Side light can also string into dash neutral light, chase dodges or dash jumps sair or nair. If you land side light at minimum range, you can also combo into neutral light. Avoid using side air unless the opponent has floated into jump sair range without options or you have baited their dodge on the ground, in which case you can combo into neutral light or string into dash neutral light and side light. When playing neutral with sword, I use neutral light and neutral air almost exclusively, slipping in down light when possible. After landing neutral air, you can follow up with a recovery to deal 35 damage, which is true with a deck stance. I only use side air and down air if my opponent has made a mistake and I can punish or challenge them directly. Side light is a nice tool after pushing your opponent into a corner or you are expecting them to dodge through, in which case you can string or combo into dash neutral light depending on their damage. One of my favourite and most effective follow ups on sword is after landing a down light air combo. At low to mid damage you can almost always find a nair on reaction after the dodge, potentially leading into more nairs or a recovery. At higher damage, ledge cancel or gravity cancel down light or neutral light or sair are reliable options. After landing a rising or grounded nair with hammer, look to follow with a jump recovery then fastball and react to your opponent's dodge, usually looking to flander sair or dare. A mix up is to chase dodge downwards with a delayed sair or another nair into recovery into dodge punch. Don't undervalue dare and how easily it sets up juggle scenarios. Bodvar's signatures are great tools in the neutral game and proper use of them can award very early kills. Sword's side signature has a lot of range, excellent damage and the final hitbox hits slightly higher and further than expected. The downside to this sig is the dead zone inside and in front of Bodvar and its lack of vertical range. X-Pivot's sword neutral signature can be used to attack from unsuspecting positions and catch people crossing above you, killing extremely early on some maps. Sword Down Signature is great at covering the edge and catching dodges after forcing opponents low off stage. Hammer Side Sig can be used in neutral at max range to catch dashes away for early kills, or with neutral sig to punish landings after juggling your opponent. Bodva has very strong kill setups with both Sword and Hammer. With Sword, lead with Neutral Light or Side Light at close range then follow with a Side Sig or Down Sig, dashing or chase dodging if needed. Mixing up this option with a dash jump or waiting follow ups will let you catch your opponent unawares and either get a kill or set up an edge guard. Similarly with hammer, land a minimum range side light then follow with a side sick. This option catches almost every dodge and jump, deals 40 damage and kills very early. If you land side light at maximum range, you can instead dash to the side sick for a similar result. Even without signatures, this character is designed to rack up consistent kills without overextending. Downlight on both weapons leads to a plethora of kill combos, for example, Downlight Sair, Downlight Recovery and Downlight Down Air Recovery for Sword, and Downlight Sair, Downlight Air and the infamous Russian Mafia for Hammer. While it is the most difficult combo in this list, the Russian Mafia is by far the strongest, dealing 40 damage and killing as early as 100 damage, but having a dodge window of 1 frame until 140 damage. Sword Downlight Down Air Recovery kills as early as 120 damage, deals as much damage as the Russian Mafia, but becomes true 10 damage after it kills. Edge guarding with both Sword and Hammer is fairly straightforward, with Dare and Recovery being their main tools. The real effectiveness in edge guarding with Bodva comes from covering as many options as possible and knowing exactly when a hitbox needs to come out. Sword Dare becomes predictable and easy to read, and Ground Pound is a big commitment which can lose a game if used incorrectly. 
With this in mind, weaving in stairs both into and away from the wall, then looking for a dare follow-up can be very effective. Once your opponent's options are burned, Gravity Cancel Down Sig on the wall covers underneath and in front, easily catching them and sending at a great angle. It is also important to make use of weapon throws and egg drops when edge guarding. When your opponent is already on the wall and trying to get back on stage, pressuring the corner with downlight and corner dares makes it difficult for them to get through. The hardest part of covering the ledge with sword is timing your options away from what your opponent wants to do. A mix-up is to give them a small space to think they can make it back, then catching them with the big hitboxes and long active frames of neutral light. Fighting off the edge with hammer is much riskier as the strongest tool requires you to fall underneath your opponent. Knowing this, falling and rising stairs on the wall are the next go-to option, stringing into another recovery or stair, or sending them further away and make it easier to land more attacks. A very, very important tool to remember is diminished hammer recovery. It has very low startup and greater range than normal as it automatically jumps during the startup. While on the topic of recovery, be careful to not jump first if it is not needed, as it already rises when the hitboxes come out. Aside from side air and recovery, gravity cancel downlight into chase dodge recovery is useful when your opponent needs to attack you, as the gravity cancel will outprioritize their aerial attack. Finally, mix up ground pound to deal a ton of damage and get very early kills. But be careful doing this of white, because ground pound is very negative on hit. On the screen, you will see a matchup chart for Bodva against the other weapons. Spear outranges and outprioritizes both kits, and defensive offstage strengths of hammer and sword are neutralized by the spear down air and side air. Bow is very difficult to land against with their neutralite and recovery mix-up. Sidelight outprioritizes both of our kits, and defensive offstage strengths are neutralized by bow down air. Orb can play in hammer's dead zones, which are diagonally above while grounded and diagonally below while aerial, and is very difficult to punish with how non-committal it is. Similar to Spear and Bow, Orb Down Air and Ground Pound neutralize Sword and Hammer's offstage defense, while Orb Nair makes it very difficult to aggress offstage. It can be difficult to beat Scythe with Hammer as everything outranges Downlight and Neutralite while pushing Hammer's weak spots with Scythe, Neutralite and Down Air. Offstage, Hammer is limited due to its speed and range compared to Scythe. Sword has a much better time against Scythe with its speed and ability to move during attacks. Offstage, Sword is better than Hammer because it has many more options and isn't as slow and stiff. Playing around Scythe, Neutralite and Down Air are key in this matchup. Katars are outprioritized by both Sword and Hammer and have very little range but are quick enough to punish most whiffed attacks. Katar strings are difficult to get away from and reset to neutral with Hammer because of its dead zones and speed but are much easier for Sword. Off stage, Katars are much harder to challenge than Gauntlets which are the next tier below. On stage, Lance has much superior range and has options which cover the weak points of both Hammer and Sword. Although Lance has great priority, its coverage as a whole is not good enough to dominate either of Bodvar's weapons, making Lance win neutral but not dominate. Offstage, there is almost nothing Lance can do against a well-played hammer or sword edgeguard, making it easy to get early kills off of one opening. Lance's disadvantage is also weak, with only Nair as its real get off me option. Hammer wins very hard in neutral with complete outranging and outprioritizing everything Gauntless has while being able to respond to pressure with Rising Dare. Offstage is winnable if there is room to space horizontally, otherwise edge play should mainly be covering the ledge and reverting to neutral. Sword also wins neutral very hard against Gauntlets, but can pressure the edge a little more due to its safety compared to Hammer. Similar to Gauntlets, Hammer beats just about everything Cannon has while also having much stronger offstage play. The reason this matchup isn't rated better is because of Cannon Nair, its mobility, and its strings which are more difficult to fight out of. Cannon Nair is very strong against both Sword and Hammer. Almost all of its attacks have a lot of momentum, making it difficult for the clunky hammer to catch and punish if the cannon is moving away. Ever since the introduction of Dash, Hammer has had a much better time against Blasters due to the greatly increased maneuverability. Blasters outprioritize both Hammer and Sword with Neutralite, Sidelight, Neutral Air and Side Air, but struggle against good movement and understanding of positioning. Blasters Dare doesn't have enough range to deal with Sword and Hammer Nair, making it difficult for them to land. Offstage, Hammer and Sword have significant advantages because of their hitboxing, speed, and coverage, and Blaster's weak offstage game. Axe is by far the easiest matchup overall for Bodvar due to all the weaknesses the weapon has. Major dead zones, predictable neutral and punish game, and very weak disadvantage trait, not to mention Sword and Hammer being able to challenge one of Axe's strongest attacks, which is down air, and win offstage. Beating Axe is about understanding its timings and knowing where to position. 
Thank you all for taking the time to watch this guide and learn a thing or two about Bodvar. If you enjoyed your time or have any questions, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment to let me know what you thought. Until next time, I'm Kalaralis, and I'll see you later.